Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how to make star delta starter. Friends, I know that before this, you have seen a lot of videos on star delta starter and I can say that with guarantee, even after watching those videos, you still don't know perfectly how to do wiring of star delta starter. So today through this video, we will learn how to make star delta starter. I will explain the wiring of starter in the easiest way so that you will never forget wiring of star delta starter. Okay then, let's start the video. As you know that star delta starter we make in that we have to use three contactors. One contactor is for main, second contactor is for star and third contactor is used for delta. Now contactor we have to start and stop these we use push buttons. One push button is there to start and one push button is there to stop. This start push button here is NO contact and stop push button is NC contact. Besides motor we have to protect motor from overload we use an overload relay here. In star delta starter, star contactor and delta contactor both the contactors must turn on one by one. That is first of all star contactor will turn on and after some time when star contactor goes off then instantly delta contactor must turn on. So here star contactor and delta contactor to turn on and off these we use a timer. Friends as you can see here I have a contactor and with this contactor I connected an overload relay. This contactor here will be used as main contactor. So first we will do wiring of main contactor after that we will do the wiring of star contactor and delta contactor. Whenever we are going to do any kind of wiring, then before wiring, you need to draw a diagram. Like here you can see, I have a star delta starter circuit diagram. In this diagram, power supply is there, is going to fuse first. Here I don't have a fuse, so I am going to use a MCB. After this, power supply goes to NC contact of overload relay. This overload relay I have, we have to use NC contact of this. After this, power supply goes to stop push button and then to start push button. Okay then, from this phase supply to this point, let's do the wiring. For power supply, I am using a two pole MCB. Now from this MCB, power supply goes to 95 and 96 number terminal of overload relay. So I am using a wire. I am connecting this red wire with phase terminal of MCB. Like you can see here, phase wire is connected here. So output power supply we get here. So from here we connected a wire and what we will do in this overload relay, 95 number terminal of this, this one, connect wire with this. We use 95 and 96 number terminal because these contact are NC contact. It means if motor does not trip, then in this condition, power supply flows further. When motor starts consuming more current, then this overload relay here, it will open the NC contact. That is, power supply from here will not flow further and motor gets turned off. This is why we are using NC contact here. Now this overload relay here, power supply going from this will go to NC push button. So I am using a wire, I am connecting this wire with 96 number terminal and I am connecting other end of wire with push button. Now this stop push button here, power supply which goes from output terminal will go to start push button. So I am using a wire and with this stop push button connect this wire. After this, take other end of this wire and with the start push button connect this wire. Now the start push button here on pressing this first of all main contactor should turn on. So I am using another wire take one end of wire and with start push button connect this wire. Take other end of wire and with A1 terminal of contactor connect this wire. Now to turn on this contactor we have to provide neutral power supply also. So here what I will do in this MCB here with neutral supply terminal connect a wire I connected wire here. Now take other end of wire and in this contactor with A2 terminal connect this wire. Now to turn on main contactor we need phase supply and neutral supply. We given both the power supply. Ok then let's check once. I turned on the MCB. Now what we have to do we have to press this start push button. I am still pressing this so contactor is on. When I release this contactor turned off. It means contactor is not holding. On pressing it turn on, on releasing it turn off. Now what's the problem here? Let's understand. Look in this diagram here you can see this start push button here. In parallel to this a NO contact is connected. This NO contact here is NO contact of main contactor. It means this main contactor here this one 
anno contact of this contactor this one we have to use this in parallel to this push button i am using a wire here take one end of wire and in this start push button with input terminal connect this wire and connect other end with anno contact so i am connecting this here now as per this circuit diagram this anno contact here wire going from output terminal can go to input of start push button or it can go to a1 of main contactor it will be very easy that we can loop a wire from anno contact to a1 terminal so i am using a piece of wire and i am connecting this with anno contact now other end of this wire will be connected with a1 terminal friends you can see by using proper color coding i am doing the wiring so that it will be easy for you to understand now how this connection works let's see first turn on the mcb after turning on mcb press this push button when i press this you can see contactor is turned on it means holding circuit is working here now to turn off this we have to press stop push button moment we press this contactor will turn off so friends we made the dol starter here now this dol starter here how to convert this into star delta starter let's understand what we have to do this push button here when we press this timer must also turn on so here what we will do this start push button here with output terminal of this we will connect one wire and take another end and connect with a1 terminal of timer in this timer at a2 terminal we have to give neutral power supply so i am connecting this wire here after this take other end of this wire and with neutral power supply here loop this wire with this terminal okay then let's check again by turning on power supply so here i turned on the mcb now i am pressing this push button as you can see timer is turned on and along with this contactor also turned on right now you can see delta indication is glowing at the starting when we turned on star indication is glowing right now after some time delta indication starts glowing this timer we have through this timer to convert from star to delta it will take 500 milliseconds delay time if you want to reduce this then by rotating you can reduce this i am letting this as 500 milliseconds after this this knob here for setting time through this after how much time star is to be converted into delta that time we can set here if i want to change this to 15 seconds then i will select 15 here if i want short time then i can reduce this now this timer here through this timer we are going to turn on another contactor i mean star contactor and delta contactor will be turned on through this timer how they will be turned on let's understand look this timer we have in this timer you can see terminals here two number terminal one number and three number this two number terminal you can see here this is our common terminal it means here you have to provide phase supply after this this one number terminal this is nc contact and three number terminal is of anno contact so first of all what we have to do this a1 terminal here loop one wire from here and connect with two number terminal it means that common terminal we are going to connect phase supply so i am using this piece of wire for looping now what we have to do this timer here through nc contact of this we have to turn on star contactor we will give power supply through nc contact of star contactor because first of all we have to turn on star contactor but in between we are going to use an interlocking also what kind of interlocking need to be used look here this is our timer we connected phase supply with this you can see this phase supply is looped till here with the common terminal of timer we looped a wire here these upper side terminals are common terminals now from nc contact of timer power supply which goes it will go to nc contact of delta contactor it means this delta contactor here nc contact of this here nc contact is not there so i am using a adam block in this adam block there is a nc contact so what we have to do with one number terminal connect a wire take this wire to delta contactor and with nc contact this one is nc contact connect this wire with this contact now what we have to do with output terminal of nc contact loop a wire and in this star contactor with a1 terminal connect this wire so i am using this wire here connect one end of wire with nc contact and connect other end of wire with a1 terminal in this way this phase supply here of star contactor is not connected directly with a1 terminal of star contactor because we have to interlock here at a time only one contactor must remain on 
Now this contactor here to operate this neutral power supply is also required. So to provide neutral power supply what we will do in this timer at A2 terminal neutral power supply which was connected with same terminal connect one more wire. Now take other end of black wire and with star contactor connect neutral power supply. So here to turn on star contactor we provided phase supply and neutral supply. Now connections we did here let's test this once. For testing turn on the MCB. After turning on MCB I am giving start command. Now when I gave start command you can see star contactor turned on. After some time I mean after the program time star contactor will turn off and delta contactor will turn on. Here delta contactor didn't turn on because we did not done the wiring of this. To turn on this delta contactor let's make a circuit for this also. What we have to do in this timer there is a NO contact I mean with 3 number terminal connect power supply and take this supply to NC contact of star contactor. Here I don't have NC this is why I am connecting Adam block with this. Take one end of wire and connect with NO contact of timer. Take other end of wire and in the star contactor with NC contact connect this wire. Now in this star contactor from NC contact take output power supply and in this delta contactor with A1 terminal connect this power supply. Here I am using this yellow wire connect one end of yellow wire with NC contact of star contactor and connect other end with A1 terminal of delta contactor. Now we have to connect only one wire. To this delta contactor we have to provide neutral power supply. For providing neutral power supply what we have to do in this star contactor neutral supply we connected before with this loop a wire. Take this wire and in delta contactor with A2 terminal connect this wire. So here we made star delta starter. Ok then let's test this. First of all turn on the MCB. After turning on MCB if you want to turn on starter then we have to press start push button. You can see star contactor is turned on. Now after some time after the time we set here star contactor will turn off and delta contactor will turn on. You can see delta contactor is turned on and star contactor is off now. Now this delta contactor will remain on until we do not press stop push button. When we press this our starter will turn off. When we turn on star contactor is turned on. After some time delta contactor will turn on. Now here understand one thing this interlocking we did here what is the benefit of this. Look if by mistake star contactor turn on I am pressing this when we turned on star contactor delta contactor turned off. Similarly if star contactor is on and by mistake delta contactor turn on then in this condition star contactor will turn off. Friends this is why interlocking is done here so that both the contactors must not turn on together. Like you know that if somehow both the contactors turn on together then in your starter blast may take place. I mean there can be short circuit. This is why we do interlocking here. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video then please do like share and comment on my video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.